good friend of mine, Mr. Griffith, used to always say, what is the one thing you would never want to drink after bees bite you? You know it? Oh, uh, what is that? I... More bees. <laughs> oh, open up them high for he wanted. <laughs> Things I had to do just to get a bit of honey in my life, eh, boy. I'm going to use this sweet man, boy. Eh? Where they say I'm honey stick, boy. But God, this is real work, boy. When you're in I finally reach up in a repo. Yeah, boy. Why are you finally driving us? Look, come on, boy. Listen, it was very core, right? It was like if I was driving up on the car outside. But the, the, the road sexy man, a curvy. So this area is a, a, a particular is a repo. A repo, yeah. A repo heights. Heights, heights of a repo, yeah. We on site on the April right now. So we come here to more or less understand how you harvest the honey. We're going in by the, the hives. Yeah. We're gonna actually do our extraction. So right now the hives are them full. But well, I say before we head out there and before we suit up, I just say we'll get a little snack. People, we have some nice cheddar cheese. Pretty much in Toronto, we go, we call this government cheese. Yeah, the no cheap brand it. coffee, we're gonna use some of this only cheese. Now, I know you're thinking, Chef Mad, you're out of your head. So, we're taking some and we're just sprinkling it on just like that, right? Yeah. Simple as this, right? All right nice, yeah. robust Arabica beans. We're gonna put on some crackers now. And I want you to get our honey out, right? So, people, we're getting a nice, sweet effect here going on together with that nice, bold, robust flavor of the coffee and the savoriness. Or the cheese. Oh. It's almost like caramel, and you telling me that oh, this is last harvest honey. Yeah. Unprocessed at this point in yeah, time. Yeah, on the reason why you'll see this here, this is unprocessed. This is unfiltered, unpasteurized. I mean, so this is just few as they can get it. Right, right. Wait till you mouth taste it. Wow. <laughs> Chef, we just come up with this thing from my Take that Audrey. Beautiful honey and coffee. The sweetness of the honey and the coffee meshes very well. Mm -hmm. And now with the saviness of the cheese. Mm -hmm. Listen, I know what you're thinking, your mind, Chef Mad, you need to try it. Right. Go to the fridge, pour out a bit of cherry cheese, a little bit of honey, mm -hmm. drizzle on some cheap brand coffee. Yeah. Tell so me what you think, and of course, if you have biscuits. Yeah, yeah, let's cook up with the biscuit. Just like this. So. Ranger, this is stuck. I know the boy is waiting. Let me suit up. Let, Let me start to hit them. Yeah. We have something in belly. There we go. Yeah. Let me roll. In, in your suit, if you think that's bend your head, watch the ground, bend your head, and walk on kind of so When you bend your head in your suit, your collar will come up and kind of fairly yeah. block it there to stop from being in your head. More than likely, they would, so they would all the cool, they're going to behave themselves. If not, well, there's no fan, no skip, no press, no sleep, no press. Right, yeah, yeah, this yeah, is the experience. Yeah. I should buy this now. We're going to get another nice one. Yeah. Uh, we're going to use all the nicest in the pot. I guess this is a nice fit, boy. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> if I could see here, my hand's still swollen from Sunday. Oh Wait, you got bite Sunday? Yeah. So the, again. Nice oh, <laughs> yeah. This is how we show, you know, it's good thing now, but good product. When your hands are up and thing. You know, anytime you come with me, it's a good adventure again. Do it on the time. Do it on the time. Do it on the time. You good there, Jason? Jeff's thing chef in heat behind, all right. So, palmistry, nearly full. I ran straight into Rosso. What are you really doing, boy? <laughs> all right, so we're giving you the ticket suit. So, you know, it's not nothing when blaze your tail now, boy. So this is African killer bees. Actual Africanized killer bees. The things I just had to do just to get a little bit of honey in my life, eh, boy. I'm going to use this sweet man, boy. I'm going to say I'm honey stick, boy. But God, this is real work, boy. So what do you do? This, this, this going tight around my neck. I'm nothing to seep in, you know. Looking like some kind of hazmat suit that I have on here. I'm going to fight COVID. What do you think? Oh, I'm going with my mask. I'm going to have a hole, boy. So here now, I'm going to tape you up right around, right? Tape them up and block it off. <laughs> Are you really going too close to the hive? You know? Nah, yeah, we use that one to be up front. Use the action, man. Hello, this hey, thing, man. Oh, you, you run the show today, then. We go, we, we, we go and get, we go and get the kitten. Uh, so, we can hold this up there. Yeah, let's go on the front line or something. I'm gonna fight COVID. I play the purge, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna harvest some honey. And I have to film all of this. Why, boy, we we reached today, boy. Yeah. We're going to check out the, the hives in a repo. Just to get a little bit of sweetness in my life. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, sit down.
All right. Well, when we just think that all the bees were challenging, just to get the hill alone is a problem there with the, the weather. Mm -hmm. Two vans can make it up there. So we're going to do the next best thing. We're going to do it by foot, boy. We're walking up the hill. So fellas look like we on the moon, boy. A Mars mission. What did you do? Well, this is the calmest. You'll probably see it. We've seen like about eight hives here. They're dormant at this point in time because evidently we're not bothering them. Remember, we're coming out to take these bees honey. Eh? So it's like we're frustrating them. We're taking their goal, their, their hard work. So I just want to show you the calm before the storm. Re, check this out. What are you doing up inside here now? Smoking and priming up the smoke car. What do you have inside here? It's a pine needle. Pine needle? Yeah, a pine, a pine straw. So it's just... For the leaf of the pine tree. Right, so you put that inside here. Yeah, a few will the smoke. There's a few will for the smoke. So this has calmed them down? Yeah. So Jason, you make it up to the hill. Well, as you can see, the weather against us today. You see the guy charging up, uh, lighting up the smoke, was it? Yeah. They're all going to smoke the bees. Smoke all the entrance to the box. Right. Now the smoke will soothe the bees and relax them. Then the guys, they will go in and inspect the box. To see how the right? behavior is? Yes. How many bees they could have in one hive right? Approximately 30 to 40,000. So much in one Yes. And I've seen about nine hives here. Yeah. Privilege to be out here with you guys. As you know, we're trying to get some fresh organic honey here. Yeah. For us to go and do some cooking. And yeah. that's the agenda to here. Jason, you ready for this way? Only go lead the way now, boy. Nice. We have Narayan and Steve we'll going in and smoking the bees. So what I will do, that will pacify them a little. Right. Jason, come. Okay, right here. So they inspect any boxes. No sudden movements. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're coming out. All right, come, come, Jason. All right, gently remove the cover there. Yeah. <coughs> Holy moly! Oh my God! All that, Jason. Honey. Beautiful. All right, honey. Wow, this thing is heavy, boy. Yeah. This honeycomb that is inside here, what is that made up of? Is it like wax or wax. starch? Oh no, wax, wax. So the bee actually makes the wax. There you go. Go there, go there. Watch wow. that. Wow. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That's how we call a super full of honey. Look at that, people. You can see the comb. You can see it dripping. Recheck that below. Oh, it's dripping. Unadulterated honey. Killer bees, they say. Wow. So notice the color of the honey? Yeah. So have a different taste to the first one. So that's how you all bring it on, yeah? Oh, this one's trying to sting me. We outside. I mean, you know me, I'm very vocal and loud at this point in time, but uh, make sure I behave myself. <laughs> in, their in their territory, respect it. Eh? I'm so sorry you guys cannot see the cameraman right now. He's covered in bees and he's doing his job. The man hand has no of steel, I'm not even shaking. Eh? You're a big up reality. Well, studios, boy. You see, look at the reality in reality. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> So guys, we are, I've, I'm, I've seen, things are getting a little sticky now, yeah? <laughs> I mean, it's honey, yeah? but three or four combs I saw came out in the bag. We have not been down, so it's going down. But he have the price, so right now he's like the primary target, so we will take your time yeah. and calmly walk down the hill. You could feel these bees hitting here like little, little, little pebbles, eh? You won't believe it, Jason, and they're real behaving, eh? Across Watch your when them open, see what's going on there. Watch your going on there, what they're reading up. <laughs> Ree, if you want to run in and sleep, yeah, let's come back out. Okay? See how they get it on there? I don't have the bad box. <laughs> keep moving. Alright. Alright. So we just have to keep uh, as mentioned, a quick a quick um extraction, eh? No dilly dadling. We get where we, we came, we come, we gone, let me go. Um we have the combs inside there. Yeah. Let me go and see what we go do with this now, boy. Literally. These bees can actually follow us back to the camp, right? They, now. they will. They will. So that's the reason why we send having with the combs to us. Notice they have a smoker with them. Yeah. And we, tar we calmly walk in and smoke in too. So because you've just taken what belongs to them. Nice. So they will follow you. Yes. Passing all by Price Mart there and you see people selling their honey. And it's 180 $200 a bottle. No. The kind of hard work that is going to this. Eh? Mm -hmm. Most people throughout the Caribbean and throughout the world don't understand the vicissitudes of harvesting honey. They figure, well, you know, the bees cooperate with you and they get the honey on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. But now you have to go and extract this now. Yes. Now we still have to go and uncap it 
and extract it and there's a lot of work involved. So this is actually a normally a four day processor bottle. Wow. Yeah. You good Jason? All is well. Yeah, you good? <laughs> we survived another mission. Listen, I can bop my gum a little bit there, but I don't really understand what we just be doing when we're outside. Eh? It's a whole different level of risk. To go and get a honey straight from the beehive and to take it back and go and bubble with it. Chief brand, or well, they know what they're doing. Just filmed uh, probably the most difficult shot video dressed like this. Bees all around me, but uh, we made it out. Oh, yeah. I see in wing season up there. Mm -hmm. Talk to me. Well, we're gonna make some TCH. TCH was our number plate. No way. Tamron, Shadow Benny, Honey Glazed Wings. Papa, yo! Mm -hmm. I know them honey inside there, you're gonna integrate it and stuff there. Yeah. But let me start, I've seen some minimalistically seasoned wings here. Well, what we have in here is some cheese brand black pepper, a little bit of smoked paprika. You want some salt in there too? Yes. The aniseed soy? Oh yeah, boy, there is going with this boy. This thing best. Most put this for the lecture thing, daddy, boy. That's the DNA of the Caribbean there. She yeah. already locked yeah. up. Yeah, put that here. Yeah. Narendra going on, obviously, take that honey harvested and mix it in. I, I know it's the tamarind sauce from cheap brand products mm -hmm. using together with the shadow bean inside yeah. here. To be nice, it's like a buffalo kind of hot wings you make it. So when it's Friday, when you tossing it up in that nice oh, sauce, yeah. I can't wait to see that sauce going on because pretty much it's so interesting. I've never had tamarind honey, shadow benny glaze wings. TCH. TCH. Listen, TCH. man want to trademark, trademark that, eh? Them boys and them no rich boy. Hey, hey, all your fellas, <laughs> good. <laughs> Things done happening already? Well, well, late? No, I've been, boy. You just, I find you working for police folks, and you just time the food. Of course. You just time in. I'll keep it my belly in my hand, too. Well, boy, all all right. the time we, 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 we trying to organize and prep, Navin is just rich when food finish. So, are you ready to see it? I hope it's ready for the TCH. Well, yeah, we're going on. It's a kind of top secret kind of sauce thing, eh, but I'll just see you get a little blind now. We're going to go partner and think that way. A little bit of special oil in here, too. Eh? Nice. You put that in just like that. Mm -hmm. We have some red onions. That's my purple onion, you know. It depends on how colorblind it is, eh? Well, I think about it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Onion, sweet pepper. pepper. Some jalapeno pepper. Right, and whole garlic. Whole garlic. Ooh. What are we talking about? Mm -hmm. So after right. that prep now, what are we doing? We are adding in some tea for the t-shirt. This is the tamarind sauce. Nice. I find it helping out. The shadow Benny, the, the C, the C, and so, the H, the hot, the home style. style. Home style, now. H has two meanings, eh? The other H is silent. <laughs> you don't catch yourself, you know. The next H really means honey. Yeah. <laughs> right. Somebody. Aniseed soy again. I see you using this. You had seasoned the wings with this earlier on. Yes. And that's the aniseed soy sauce. So, so a nice little sweet vibe going on inside. Yeah. It also contribute to the color, right? Yes. Honey yeah. time? Honey time. So you get a nice, this will create a glaze then. When yeah. you really think about it, I see tamarind is start, it's spicy from the pepper, yeah. shadow benny pungent, yeah. and now you have this nice honey. Oh boy. Take that from here, boy. Ooh. Look at that now, people. Put a little bit of black pepper inside the pan. Spice it up a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Put the salt man. And I put the salt like that too. Ah. So the sauce looking best mm -hmm. at this point in time. So that's what you mean, tighten it up to get a nice little thickness. Yes. Remember we fried these earlier around with the 11 herbs and spices. Yeah. And we just do it on the chulha. Huh? Yes. Ooh. Papa, you. Tough stuff, I know. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. So at this point in time, when it glaze up and it just get everything inside there, you're going to get a nice crust on the outside, yeah. but just the sauce glazing on the outside. Yeah. Oh, God. Now, let, me, let me play this up now, but I want to try this. Yeah, play this up now. Nice. Who the cut out people? Trinidad and Tobago. We want more than that. This is Narendra's tamarind, shadow benny, and honey glazed wings with my little saddle on the side. Mm -hmm. Sauce with the garlic and parsley. Well, enough smelling. Let me, we taste this thing. I always believe that the public had a taste it because yeah, it, we could be biased. Yeah, we could be biased. Wait, right. let me go and get the boys there and let them try yeah. this out and see what they say. Fellas, this is Narendra's uh, TCH wings. Honey glaze. Try it now, man. Yeah, he cook it. Well, it's down to the man, boy. Well, it doesn't have faith in the man. But we elevating it here. Chef Jason come out here. He had to impress these fellas here. You like that? So it's just a, like a flavor explosion on the palate. Mm -hmm. The wings are hit, partner. Is that hit? Yeah. <laughs> my boy make it, my boy make it pineapple chow here. Try yeah. the wings. Try the orange wings. Because so far you get two for two, eh? 
Okay, I can have sweet and sour. Yeah, that's tamarind inside there. That's tamarind and shadow bennies. So that's sweet and sour. Taste. Look at it. 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 Look and of course with the help of cheap brand products. Mm -hmm. And we have some hungry fellas in the background there. Okay. So we're just going to clean up them wings, make some more dessert and of course have some good fun fellas. Mm -hmm. Meet me back up on the next one because you know we're traversing through Trinidad and Tobago, having fun on We Outside and of course yeah. Chef Jason, large and in charge with all my friends. Yeah. We out, Trinidad and Tobago, we love you. Yes. What are you doing boy? <laughs> Man smoking your bum hole in there. <laughs> yeah, we just smoke water. What up? Yeah. We know Jay's contract record. They're going to follow all your dogs. I can tell you who's going to get bite already.